everyone. Congratulations for making it to the third quarter. First off, we are going to focus on the endocrine system, specifically on the hormones of male and female reproductive system and its functions, which is covered by module 1 and 2. Here are the specific objectives for this lesson. First one, is to explain the hormones secreted by the male and female reproductive system. Discuss the role of hormones involved in the female and male reproductive system. And lastly, develop an awareness and open-mindedness on the issues concerning the hormones. So what exactly are hormones? And you might even wonder, what effect do hormones have on the body? So to fully understand hormones, we need to know about the endocrine system and how it works. Bago tayo pumunta sa iba't ibang klase ng endocrine glands, let us first differentiate yung dalawang klase ng gland sa ating katawan. Yung una ay ang tinatawag na exocrine. There are duct present. And yung ikalawa naman is the endocrine or there is no duct because it secretes hormones directly into the blood. Examples of the exocrine glands are the glands of the skin and of course the salivary glands. Ano nga ba ang endocrine system? When we talk about endocrine system, it refers to a system that includes all the glands of the body, kasali na rin yung hormones produced by those glands. Kasama yung nervous system, yung endocrine system controls the communication and chemical regulation. Endocrine system's effects, however, are slow to initiate and prolong in their response, lasting from a few hours up to weeks. The endocrine system and the nervous system coordinate the body's organs so that they work together, using now chemical messengers known as hormones. Hormones are produced by glands or also known as endocrine glands in different parts of the body. At bawat isang endocrine glands ay meron kanya-kanyang purpose or function. These chemical messengers are produced in very small quantities and are transported in the blood. Kaya hindi siya nangangailangan na ngayon ng ducts because it is injected directly into the blood. This time, Aalamin natin kung ano nga ba yung hormones at bakit importante ito sa katawan ng tao. But before that, let me remind you to please do not forget to click like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you will be notified sa ating mga latest videos. By the way, the links to the following modules ay nakalagay sa description box so please don't forget to download it. Now, Ano nga ba yung hormones? Pag sinabing hormones, ito ay mga chemical substance na pinuproduce ng ating katawan which controls and regulates the activity of certain cells or organs. Bakit nga ba sobrang importante ng hormones sa atin? Hormones are chemical messages from one body part to another and that this is needed for communication and to coordinate the whole body. It is also used for daily homeostasis and regulation of large-scale changes, kagaya ng pag-maintain ng solute levels in the blood. Ano ba yung mga solute levels na minimaintain through the use of hormones? So, kabilang dyan yung sugar level or yung glucose, yung calcium, at saka yung salt at iba pa. It also includes the metabolism, growth, development, maturation, and reproduction. So, ano nga ba yung ginagawa ng hormones sa ating katawan? We already mentioned kanina na katulong siya ng nervous system para sa regulation at pagkontrol ng mga body processes. Ano nga ba yung pagkakaiba ng endocrine system sa nervous system in terms of function? Hormones, unlike nerve impulses, are slower but however, they are longer lasting in its effects. So they are delivered to all the parts of the body and can have local effects. 
Hormones are used to stabilize the body's internal environment through homeostasis and also coordinate longer-term processes such as growth and sexual development. One important thing that you should always remember kung gaano ka-importante yung hormones is that pag sumobra or magkulang yung pag-produce ng hormones ay merong magkakaroon ng functional disorders, for example, yung diabetes. This time, we are going to focus our discussion sa iba't ibang klase ng endocrine glands, ano ba yung function nila, at ano yung mga hormones na pinoproduce ng bawat isa. The first type of gland that we are going to discuss is the pituitary gland. Ito ay tinatawag ding master gland kasi it controls the majority of all the other endocrine glands. Tinatawag din itong hypophysis. It consists of two distinct parts, yung posterior lobe at saka yung anterior lobe. As mentioned before, yung pituitary gland is also known as the master gland kasi kinokontrol niya yung iba't ibang klase din ng endocrine glands. Now, having that said, the endocrine gland or the pituitary gland in particular produces several hormones. One important hormone na pinoproduce niya is yung growth hormone. The growth hormone now promotes bone and muscular growth. Like what I have mentioned earlier, pag too much, merong epekto. Pag less naman, meron ding epekto. So say for example, for the growth hormone produced by the pituitary gland, pag sumobra, pwede siyang makapagproduce ng condition na tinatawag na gigantism. And pag kulang naman, then it would produce dwarfism condition. It also produces the antidiuretic hormone or the EDH which controls reabsorption of water into the blood by kidneys and of course another hormone which controls the function of the thyroid gland. Another type of gland is known as the thyroid gland. This particular endocrine gland produces the hormone thyroxine. It regulates the rate of metabolism. Pag excess na pagproduce ng thyroxine causes hyperactivity at pagkulang naman, the deficiency causes weight gain at sluggishness. Another type of endocrine gland is known as parathyroid. This particular gland produces the hormone parathyroid hormone which is used to regulate the level of calcium. The deficiency of this particular hormone may cause osteoporosis. Next type of gland is known as the thymus glands and this particular endocrine gland produces the hormone thymosine. Thymosine protects the body from pathogens throughout a person's entire life because it helps to train and develop the T lymphocytes during fetal development and childhood. Another important endocrine gland is known as the adrenal glands. Ito ay importante kasi pinuproduce niya yung hormone na tinatawag na adrenaline. Yung adrenaline causes the fight or flight response especially during emergency which results in of course increased heart rate and breathing rate blood diverted to the muscles, increased respiration to increase the amount of glucose in the blood para sa immediate actions, especially sa mga life-endangering situations. Next type of endocrine gland is known as the pancreas. Yung pancreas particularly produces the hormone insulin. The main function of this one is it controls the conversion of blood glucose to insoluble glycogen which is stored in the liver. Other functions niya is it increases metabolic rate by stimulating cellular glucose uptake. It also increases protein synthesis in some cells and deficiency or kakulangan nito causes the condition known as sugar diabetes whereby the blood sugar level is unregulated or masyadong mataas. Aside from producing the hormone insulin, 
the pancreas also produces the hormone glucagon, wherein it controls the conversion of insoluble glycogen to glucose in the liver. Now that we are familiar with the different type of endocrine glands, this time we are going to immerse ourselves on the different types of sex glands and collectively known as gonads. Ano ba yung function nila at ano yung mga hormones na pinoproduce? Ano nga ba ang tinatawag na gonads? Pag sinabing gonads, it refers to the ovaries in females at saka yung testes naman sa mga males. This particular glands produces three categories of six hormones. The first one is the estrogen, then the progestins or the progesterone, and the androgens or the testosterone. These six hormones determine the secondary sex characteristic of adult females and adult males. First off, we are going to discuss on the female sex gland known as the ovary. The ovary produces several types of hormones. Kabilang dito, yung tinatawag na estrogen, yung function niya, is that it controls the development of female secondary sexual characteristics or yung mga katangian ng babae, such as yung widening of the hips, yung bosses, yung uh, enlargement of the breast. It also regulates menstrual cycle. Yung progesterone naman, on the other hand, thickens wall of female uterus and it also prevents contractions until a baby is being born. Now let's proceed to the male sex gland which is known as testes. Testes in particular produces the hormone testosterone. Now testosterone is the counterpart of the female progesterone and it promotes development of male secondary sexual characteristics. Testosterone have the following function. Yung una is of course promote the growth of the male member as it gets older. It also growth of facial and body hair, deepens the voice of a male at certain age, promotes production of sperm, and also maintain healthy levels of muscle and bone mass which are the features of a male species. So paano ba? kinokontrol ng hormone, yung male physiology. Of course, it starts with the hypothalamus which secretes gonadrophin-releasing hormone or G the GNRH and anterior pituitary secretes FSH and LH. FSH meaning follicle stimulating hormone and of course LH yung luteinizing hormone. This causes Sertoli cells to secrete ABP and inhibin. The LH causes interstitial cells to secrete testosterone and ABP and testosterone stimulate spermatogenesis or yung pagproduce na ngayon ng sperm and this is controlled through negative feedback by testosterone and inhibit. The female sex gland, the ovary, is controlled through the use of hypothalamus by releasing the GNRH, much like the male sex gland, the testes. Now, through this one, the pituitary gland releases the hormone FSH and LH to produce estrogen and progesterone, which has various function, which signals different development throughout the female body. Here is a quick look on the different types of endocrine glands and their functions. Hypothalamus is in the brain region controlling the pituitary gland. We also have the pituitary gland which secretes many different hormones some of which affect other glands. The thyroid gland which affects metabolism among other things. Parathyroids help regulate of calcium in the blood. 
we have also the adrenal glands which helps trigger the fight or flight response pancreas which regulates the level of sugar in the blood thyroid which affects metabolism parathyroids regulate calcium level in the body and of course the main difference between the two is between a male and a female rather is through their sex gland for the male you have the endocrine gland which is known as testis and for the female the endocrine gland known as ovary that's it for today's video please don't forget to click like subscribe and ring the bell for you to be notified for our latest videos i hope you have learned something from the video and please do share this video with your classmates so that they can be helped as well. Hi, Synatics out.